Happy Thursday. I have NeuroCoffee in hand and it is perfect. Good morning, everyone. Grace. This is crazy because I think the universe is in my favor and that all the things we've talked about this morning are leading to my question. So get out of here. Yeah, I know. That's it's not like even possible call is for me. That's not <laughs> everybody's here for you, Grace. <laughs> Great. Um, so speaking of volleyball players, I um, was talking with one of the girls I'm coaching and she has always struggled with quote, valgus, no one's been able to like diagnose it. Um, under max load, she dumps internally everywhere at the knee and the foot. Um, and this has been expressed like in frustration from her because when she's lifting, she can't squat low, she can't go up in numbers. And everyone's just like, well, we don't really know why. Just keep doing your best. And so, <laughs> okay. She was just expressing great frustration. And so I, I did some tests with her last night. And my thought is obviously she's trying to get IR from everywhere else where she's lacking it. Yep. Um, I think she is narrow. It, she looked a bit asymmetrical, but there's probably some bias in my testing over Zoom. Um, and she was like very much either straight on or slightly pylon. And so I, I'm just, I've been wondering, I've been trying to piece it together of like, okay, so what does this mean? What else do I kind of like need to either figure out or, or test so I can actually figure out what's happening? Okay. So, so let's, let's break this down a little bit. Okay. Let's start with, let's start with archetype. Okay. Cool. So her archetype biases her towards expansion into the ground. Yeah. Okay. Her her configuration, so the 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 axial shape biases her into the ground. Yeah. Okay. Strike two. <laughs> okay. So when they put a heavy load on her back, yeah. And they say squat down, she's pushing to save her life, right? Right. So she is compressed and she is IRing to the max. What's going to happen to movement under those circumstances? Decrease. No, it's, it's going to just stop, right? It's like it's like literally we took a we took somebody that's having trouble managing gravity and we gave them more gravity. Right. Right. Okay. Um, probably the, not the solution that we're looking for. Okay. So to problem solve, it it I don't want to say that it's simple because it, it is it. The concept is very, very simple. If I have someone that, that is tr having trouble managing gravity without external load, guess what? External load is not the solution. Yeah. So, so you're right. Every question up until this moment was for you. Okay. <laughs> so, so if, what did we just learn about this person? Is this going to be somebody that we can, we can teach to apply more force and she's going to gain range of motion? No. Absolutely not. So what's the first strategy that we want to use then? Do we want to, do we want to add load or do we want to take load away? Take load away. There you go. Okay. So, so right away, you're starting to write a program in your head, right? So what do you need to teach her? Like, give me two things from a strategy standpoint that are currently interfering that, that we can, we can manage by taking load away. What are you gonna do? Get her back further. Well, okay. I don't know. It doesn't seem clear to me. That's where my thought process is limited. Okay. All right. So um, is she, so she stands up and she's fighting gravity, right? Okay. And you can see it, right? You see, you see it in her feet. You see it in the knee orientation. You see it in the spine it's orientation. It's not too much like in normal standing, but as soon as you ask her to do something, like as in like, I don't know, get into a squat, she can't break parallel. In okay. a split squat, she starts to dump in. Everything just wants to pull in. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so she's, so again, how do I make her lighter? Give me two ways to make her lighter. Like, band assistance yeah so like 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 crazy simple right so so she's a reverse band box squatter okay right 
how else can I how else can I take that take the the effect of gravity away, um, like the downward force? What can I what else can I do here? Put her in a Fred pool. Frederick, huh? Put her in a pool. <laughs> Put her in a pool. Hey, you know what? That that's not bad. Frederick, go ahead and say it. Put her on the ground. Yeah, put her on the ground. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 you 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 take you take the the force that's pushing down this way and I turn her like that, right? And now maybe I can teach her how to um create the internal force. So she's a roller, she's an arm bar person, right? I'm going to teach her how to do that kind of stuff. So she learns how to create the pressure and turn Right. Yep. So, so basically, you're you're taking gravity away for a while. Yeah. Teach her how to manage it, right? And then yep. you slowly bring her back up. So her progressive resistance starts at less than body weight. Okay. Right. Same strategy we'd use to to put weight on the bar. It's just that her bar needs to be so light that it takes weight away from her. She, so she's a, she's a she's a cable chopper. Yeah. Right. Okay. You see, you see the difference? Yes. Yeah. What would we see then like progressively, like, so if we're looking at space time, mm -hmm. what, what is that end changing look like? It's almost what, like, as we what end change do you want, Grace? What would you want to see? That she can like absorb load and produce force. So there you go. So so what is going to be her representation of her ability to absorb? So, so we're talking about, about a, a distributed yielding behavior, right? Because yep. my guess is that when she jumps off of a box, she hits the ground pretty hard. Yeah. Okay. So so if I ever jump off of a 12-inch box and I hear this big thud and I see her knees slam together as she's trying to land, would 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 a better representation of that after doing some training being a landing where it's a softer landing and the knees don't, don't collapse towards each other. Yeah. You see the difference? So, so now you're showing that she's actually learning how to manage the, the, uh, the forces as she's landing. Right. Her squat would potentially improve. Yeah. Right. And it may not ever be a perfect squat, but we're looking for better. Right. Yeah. Do you, do you see do you see how you manage that though? It's like she if if somebody's struggling with gravity at body weight, you got to just make them lighter. You got to change right. the direction of gravity so so they can learn how to manage the forces before you you try to superimpose load.